Good evening, everyone. I'm Luis Patricio from London Cycle Link. And Monica Hudson from Big Bike Giveaway. We are here with you today. We did just uh, one introductory um, episode about winter cycling. And it's been a while, but uh, a lot has happened. We had um, a nice um, article about the winter cyclists in our city here in London, Ontario, Canada. And, uh, and tonight we want to talk to you about dressing for the weather yes exactly there's lots to uh to think about when we want to dress for the cold temperatures and, and lots of things yeah i think one of the things that we mentioned in the in the first episode is that if we want to dress for the weather and we already live in canada we pretty much know what we need to do but um we do have some people that might not be comfortable or might be you know um asking themselves about if they need to wear something different or maybe they're not from Canada and they don't really know how to dress during uh, winter and snow and everything. So we want to go through very basic tips about how to dress uh, for the weather. And, and keep in mind that um, our options are somewhat personal. You probably will need to find your own personal choices. Um, Monica, do you want to get us started and um, mention a couple of tip, tips for uh, dressing for the winter? I know you have sure. a nice, cool helmet. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Start there. I know first and foremost, when it starts getting dark here, I always rely on my trusted, like, neon helmet. So I don't know if you can see, it glows a little bit. Um, a lot of people put stickers um, to be more visible on their helmets or anywhere on their bike. Um, there's a lot of different gear that we can have. Um, but one, one thing that you did mention, Luis, was, was uh, we have preferences, right? So when we say a light jacket, that could be our rain jacket. It could be our spring jacket. And we kind of do everything in layers, right? So depending on the weather. Um, yeah, from, from booties covering your, your cleats or your running shoes, uh, however you ride um to thicker socks things like that but Luis you have an awesome um an awesome thing to share with us because I mean you can chart it out and make it easy to reference what kind of clothes we have and fit it into to what the weather's like I love this yes that's right Monica so I'm just going to share with you guys and uh this will be available on our website um and we have a link on, on our YouTube video um so this is our personal planner and you can see here Monica I'm just going to take you out for a few seconds so I can show the, the planner so you can see here let me see if I can point to this yeah so you can see here is like those boxes you can put the temperature that is comfortable for you and as the temperature drops you will want to dress in different ways so you have um, what do you use in your head in your upper body in your hands in your lower body and your feet um, so, of course, tonight we're going to focus on the colder part. And I'm going to bring Monica back here so we can talk a little bit more about this. So, Monica, let's say uh, for you, what is the temperature that you start thinking about adding layers? Honestly, it's probably like 10 degrees. Like at 10 degrees, I'm, I'm adding layers for sure. So, um, and that, that not necessarily on my head, but I start thinking about my hands and right. sometimes my feet. So socks, heavier socks or things like that. Um, but when it gets really cold, then like, I really worry about my extremities. Right. So covers on my, on my shoes. A lot of people, a neat little trip, uh, trip trick, sorry, is, uh, throwing some, some grocery bags, old bags, um, on your feet, under your shoes to keep them, keep them dry or a nice thick thermal gloves, anything thermal helps you, right? Right. Yeah, for me as well, I think 15, I start wearing light gloves because my hands uh, get cold super easily. Uh, and then also 10, five degrees, I start using my, you know, like just a, a light hat. Um, when it gets much more colder than this, like today I, still, I was still using this hat and I think it's, minus five or something like this but when it gets really cold minus 15 minus 10 then i i have my balaclava oh yeah exactly i know because that feels so good on the face you start getting that wind right the wind chill yeah. especially in the winter and 
and it's brutal. So your balaclava is awesome. Anything when it tucks in under your ears is great. Yeah. And then <laughs> I rarely it use it, but if it gets really, really cold, let's say minus 20, 25. Yeah. I have my goggles, but I do know that people start using glasses or even goggles, um, even if it's not that, that cold. So it's really about uh, your personal choices. Monica, what about um, layers and jackets and sweaters and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm all about layers, and that's that's the key, right? Because some of my jackets, um, I'm blessed and lucky to have a number of jackets to work with, right? But uh, I'll put sweaters under my light jackets and then throw them in my sash bags um, when I don't need them. But I always bring extra things. My favorite thing whenever I'm cycling in, in cooler weather is just a rain jacket of sorts because around here it can rain anytime when it starts getting cooler or snow on you right rain jacket feels great um to have and it's nice light and cool you can still get your little sweat on if you're if you're traveling far and uh yeah so i love to have a trusty rain jacket and sweaters underneath yeah for me i i so my hands get cold easily but not my not my body so usually i i pretty much have a, a long sleeve shirt and even yeah. it's very, very cold, um, I use just like a shell uh, that is good for, you know, when it's rainy, but also good for snow. And of course, with a hood, so you can, you know, block, really block the wind out with the balaclava if it gets really, really cold. But I, I don't even have a very heavy jacket. I, I just get all sweaty. And then if you start sweating, it's actually worse because then that sweating is, you know, freezing um in your skin in your body so this is another uh, this is also a good tip for when you want to start riding uh if you were super warm and cozy you probably overdressed you want to be slightly uncomfortable so after those five ten minutes you know like you're you're pumping your legs or riding your bike you won't get you know this you will get that nice and warm and cozy feeling um after riding your bike but you don't want to start like this otherwise you're going to be uh sweating i agree riding. louise one of the biggest mistakes i usually make is i i get too warm on the beginning of my ride so i just i layer myself with say long johns and it restricts my my movement on the bike right so the less i'm moving the colder i'm getting so if you can try to start off a little chilly you're definitely going to warm up yeah, good thing you mentioned the long johns. I think I start wearing long johns around mm, zero degrees. Yeah. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Like it's just regular pants. And if it's get if it gets really, really cold, then I'm using long johns. But there's no, uh, for me, there's no, you know, big secrets there. Um, for sure. Shoe, feet, any tips there? I think you mentioned the bags and the uh, wool socks. Yep. I, a lot of people I know, uh, I don't personally do it, but a lot of people I know uh, use the bags on the feet and keeps them dry with all that slush and everything, you know, just hitting your shoes and yeah, exactly. So a lot of people work uh, use it and it and it works. Yeah, for me also no big um, no big secrets there. Like like I said, today's minus five. I'm using regular shoes and, and regular socks if it gets colder than that minus 15 minus 20 then i i really want to put some boots or and maybe and maybe some wool socks and um for for my hands uh like i said my hands get cold, cold very easily uh after it's like zero 10 degrees i really like use mittens and, and like thick mittens um but that's pretty much it um not not many um i mean like i said if you know how to dress when you go for a walk outside in the winter you know how to dress for cycling exactly and you know what would be really neat is if everybody kind of shares their uh their tips and tricks everybody's got them and uh share them on our, on our social medias and and just let each other know what you do to kind of survive the winter or or ask questions to each other too you know it's nice social media is great for that so we should share there too that's a great idea monica uh so we're gonna share this resource if you want to use and just for a quick reference this is for example what i used uh as a reference for the things that i um the the clothes that i use as the temperature drops so you can take a look at it you can pause the video and take a look 
uh, edit um, in a after after this video. But um, yeah, this is what we have to share with you today, and hopefully we'll see you soon, probably in the new year. So happy holidays, everyone! Happy holidays, everyone! Keep riding. <laughs>